Thanks for joining us for 11 TV Hill. Christian Johansson has led Maryland's Department of Business and Economic Development since April of 2009. Now, under his leadership, his department has implemented an array of programs to help Maryland businesses survive through these very tough economic times. Secretary Johansson, nice to meet you, and thanks for joining us for 11 Good TV Good to be Hill. here today. Let me start right off by asking you the state of Maryland's economy. We just wrapped up a, a very contentious uh, gubernatorial election where we had the incumbent, Governor Martin O'Malley, and the challenger, Bob Ehrlich, giving two different views on the state of Maryland's economy. Give me your take. What, where do we stand right now? Well, my take is very simple. We've gone through a very rough time, not just as a state, but frankly, we've gone through a rough time as a country, as a global economy. Mm -hmm. There's a couple truths that hold, though. Maryland has been one of the best performing states in the rest of, uh, over the rest of the United States. Mm -hmm. Our unemployment rate has been 20 to 30 percent below the national average. And now, as we're coming out of this recession, mm -hmm. We are growing at triple the rate of the rest of the United States since the beginning of the year. There's only one state in the country that has grown faster since the beginning of the year, and that's Oklahoma. Mm -hmm. We've added 36,400 jobs into this economy. Now, I understand that the unemployment rate is still too high. There's mm -hmm. a lot of folks that are hurting out there. There's uh, unemployment that, frankly, uh, we need to bring down. Mm -hmm. But if you compare us to the rest of America, this has been by far one of the best states to be in throughout this recession. The national unemployment rate stands at uh, about 9.5 percent, Maryland's unemployment rate 7.5 percent. That's correct. So how have we been able to beat the national trend or the national average and keep some jobs here? Well, l let me tell you a couple trends that we've seen. The first off is that states that invested in education in this recession did better mm -hmm. because if you didn't have a four-year college degree, you were two to four, two to five times more likely to be unemployed. Mm -hmm. We have a number one public school system in America because we invest in it for two years running now. Mm -hmm. We've held four-year college tuition steady for four years. The only state in the country to do that because we wanted people to have access to higher education. That's made a difference. And we've launched a whole host of initiatives I'm happy to talk about to help small business mm -hmm. and to help other sectors of the economy really grow and succeed. Speaking of small business, uh, as I mentioned in our intro to the program today, that uh, uh, it's estimated that t nearly two out of every three jobs in Maryland uh, is created by a small business. And many feel that as small business goes, so goes the economy. Would you agree with that? I would totally agree with that. Mm -hmm. Small business in Maryland is big business. And if you look at um, every recovery that you've seen this side of World War II, mm -hmm. small business has been a critical part of that because if you look at what we, where we need to go as a country, it's about jobs, mm -hmm. right? And small businesses creating two out of every three jobs, if that engine of economy is not humming, mm -hmm. Houston, we got a problem. Yet we hear from many small business owners in Maryland that they are facing some really tough times. Many of them have had to fold up shop and, and close and others are just, just barely hanging on. Uh, what are some of the other challenges or some of the challenges that are facing small businesses as far as tr them trying to survive during these tough economic times? One of the biggest challenges is access to credit. Okay. Because as the rules changed, a lot of these small businesses, they were doing their business, they were growing um, and um, suddenly the rules to get access to credit, to get a loan, to get a line of credit, uh, overnight they were different. And, you know, the state has really played an instrumental role in helping small businesses get access to credit where right. they wouldn't have a yeah. for, for those who, who are not, um, how shall I say, entrepreneur savvy, yeah. and they don't understand about the whole issue of credit for businesses, most are thinking, isn't it a cash flow business? You, you, you have a product, people come in with cash, they pay you, you have your revenue. But it's so much more than that, isn't it? Credit is the lifeblood of any small business. Okay. And what, what do they use the credit for? Well, when you want to grow, when you want to expand, okay. when you want to take on a new contract, like Bass Machining wanted to do, they got a half a million dollar contract. They've been around uh, for about 20 some years here in Baltimore. Mm -hmm. And uh, they wanted to grow, but they needed money to grow. Okay. And we partnered with Harbor Bank and we guaranteed a portion of their loan so they were able to get that line of credit, so they were able to get that loan to grow, to expand, to hire more people and to take on that contract. Because okay. in order to make money, you gotta spend money first. Well, that's what they say, that's what they say. Talking about lenders, there's a program in the state called uh, Credit Connections. What is that all about? Well, we kicked off a whole new program called the Small Business Credit Recovery Program, mm -hmm. where we help guarantee loans for small businesses. So far, there's about six uh, and a quarter million that we've been able to unlock in credit to small businesses. And in order to educate our lenders on this program, we kicked off a training program for them because just because we start a program doesn't mean that folks know how to use it. Right. So we've trained 100 bankers from about 40 banks on how to use this. Mm -hmm. And by the way, Maryland's leadership on that issue didn't stop there. We took it to the White House and we actually got the president to include in the Small Business Jobs Act mm -hmm. a uh, provision for 1.5 billion 
to give to states t to help them guarantee small business debt uh, um, loans in their communities. So it's almost like educating lenders that these initiatives are available, take a chance, go ahead and lend the money, extend the credit, and then small business can start hiring and creating jobs? You got it. Interesting, interesting. Speaking of creating jobs, the Maryland Hire Program. Yes. A very exciting program. Well, I mean, one of the challenges we have is that, you, as you said, there's a lot of unemployed folks. There's a lot of people that are still hurting. We want to provide every incentive for companies to hire them back. Mm -hmm. So we're offering a $5,000 tax credit mm -hmm. to any business that hires an unemployed Marylander. And let me tell you, we've had over a thousand unemployed Mar Marylanders come off the unemployment rolls and are now back uh, in employment okay. uh, since this program started. So that's $5,000 tax credit for every new hire? Yes, for every new hire. And so, um, you know, if you're Middle River Aircraft uh, in Baltimore County, they've hired 17 people as a result okay. of this. Uh, and, I, you know, there's a whole list of companies in Baltimore City and other places that are using it. If you're a business out there, yeah. if you're thinking about hiring somebody, call us, go to choosemaryland.org, okay. look into this $5,000 credit, and please, please hire that person. I can take a big chunk out of their tax bill. Yes. For folks out there who may be unemployed right now, have been looking for a while and almost have given up on finding employment, what would you say to them? Should they be encouraged? I would say don't give up. Look, I know that this last few years have been very tough. Right. It's been tough in a lot of places, but let me tell you, we are coming out of this. We are growing. Mm -hmm. Since the beginning of the year, let me tell you again, 36,400 jobs. And there's only Oklahoma in the United States that have grown faster right. than Maryland. And so it, it may take some time, but don't give up. Okay. Go to seek uh, the state's help. Go to choosemaryland.org again. You can get a listing of uh, employment opportunities. Uh, we want to be your ally. We want to help you and uh, give it all you got. Great, great. Secretary Johansson, pleasure meeting you. Thank you. And best of luck. Thank you. All righty. Stay with us. When we come back, local developer Lloyd Williamson will tell us how he's trying to tackle the city's vacant home problem one home at a time, uh, giving back to his old East Baltimore neighborhood. So don't go away. You're watching 11 TV Hill.